So I'm just going to show how to charge a running watch without a charging cable. In this case I'm going to use the Phoenix 3 HR running watch. Um, if you want to do, do this for a different brand or a different model of running watch, all you have to do is search the pinout for that specific brand or model. So what the pinout will show you is which one of these pins needs to be connected to the 5 volts and which one needs to be ground and then which ones are the, the data pins. All you need to do this is an old um, phone charger, in this case a micro USB charger, uh, a wall adapter which is outputting 5 volts at 1 amp in this case, which is relatively safe, and some sellotape and some wire cutters and trimmers. If you don't have these then you could just use um, a knife or some scissors. So the first thing you need to do is cut and strip the phone charger. So we've got four wires here. Two of them wires will be the data wires. I assume it's this green one and the white one here. And then the leftover ones will be 5 volts, which is normally red, and ground. Yeah, so those are the right wires. Another hint, if you've not got a, a voltmeter, is that the data wires are actually a lot thinner than the power wires. Now all that you have to do is connect the two wires to the correct charging pins on the back of the watch. The pin out online says that the top pin is 5 volts for the Phoenix 3 and the bottom pin is ground. You could just sell tape the, the wires on here like this if you're only planning on using it once. But I'm going to try and make a, a bit of an improvised charging cradle for mine using some cardboard and some paper clips.